the very core, NX is a highly optimized Rust-based task runner. That's its main responsibility, to run your tasks as efficient, as fast as possible. Now, to run such a task in a project that has an X installed, you can just run an X, the name of the target that you want to hit, for instance, build, and then the name of the project, in this case, tasker web. Now, you can also provide additional options to the command or just run it right away. But in order to understand this better, we need to figure out like how tasks are being defined and where an X picks those up. Now, in this specific repository here, this is a PMPM workspace. And so NX simply looks into the application directories and searches for package JSON files. In this case, we have here the project name, which is at tasker slash web, and the next will simply pick up these targets in here. Meaning if I run NX dev at tasker web, it will spin up the dev server for the specific project, which in this case is a Next.js based project. Another way is to have an X automatically discover the runnable tasks and define them on the fly based on the tooling that they're using. And this works by leveraging NX plugins. For instance, if we go here in this specific project to the NX JSON, to the plugin section, we can see there's different plugins installed, one for Vite, for ESLint, for Cypress, for Next, etc. And by having these plugins installed, they automatically search for a project setup now, if you look here in the sidebar, we have here a series of different applications. If I open up here the admin application, we see this is a Vite-based application and it has a product JSON defined. There is no package JSON and the product JSON is almost an equivalent of a package JSON with more capabilities. Now, in this case, we didn't even define any of these targets that can we run, but rather an X automatically detects them based on these plugins. Now to show these so-called infer tasks, you can run npx nx show project, in this case admin, and this will open up a web view where you can see all the different targets that have been identified for this project. So you can see there's a build target that can be invoked, there's a lint preview target, serve target, etc. And as you can see, the Vite plugin automatically picks up the Vite specific ones. So since in this product there is a Vite config, NX automatically knows that it can run a Vite build against that by leveraging that config file and by just adjusting some of the options, for instance, like the current working directory to make sure it works in a monorepo setup. And all of them can now be run directly from the local terminal as usual. So you can still run npx nx build admin and it would leverage Vite underneath to build the specific project. Now the more integrated way of seeing such inferred targets is by using NX console. You can install that as an extension for VS Code or IntelliJ. And when you have that installed, you will see here an icon appear in your project JSON or according Vite config. And if you hit that icon, it will open up a similar view directly integrated into your IDE experience. Now, if you need to define some custom targets, you can go ahead to either create a package JSON or also leverage the product JSON. Here is an example of the NX repo where there's some more custom targets that are defined, such as copying the docs, where we define exact input of these commands, where it will output the actual results, the command that needs to be run, which is in this case a simple node script, and some further options such as in this case where the node script should be run. Now you can not only run tasks against a single project, but also potentially to multiple ones or all of them in your workspace. And for that purpose, there is the NX run many command to which you can pass different targets. For instance, in this case, build, lint, test. And this will now be run against all the projects that are in the workspace in parallel. You can also apply a filter such that the commands only run for certain projects by applying the dash P and say admin and landing page. And it would only run the commands against these different projects in here. For all the details, definitely consult our API docs where for instance here for the run menu, you have way more options such as using glob patterns or excluding certain applications, even using NX's tagging mechanism to just run the task against projects that have a certain tag.